Tonight, after a terrible tragedy, Hillsborough County officials are looking into safety measures at the popular Apollo Beach Nature Preserve. The three people drowned after being caught in a rip current last week. Eight on your side's Melissa Marino shows us what's about to change. After this horrible tragedy, you can see today the park is still closed as the county evaluates safety here. These flowers and teddy bear, a heartbreaking reminder of the tragedy that unfolded here at the Apollo Beach Nature Preserve. There's no doubt in my mind that there'll be some additional safety measures put in place because of this incident. It's just unfortunately that something tragic like this has to happen. The sheriff's office says Christoph Murray jumped into the water after seeing Janosh Perkal and his son Daniel swept away by a strong rip current. All three drowned. It was sad to hear what happened here. Yeah, and I was coming here today to go up there and pray about the families that have lost their loved ones. Diane Lane lives nearby and walks the preserve often. Despite no swimming signs, she says people still get in the water. You see people swim here a lot. Yes, yes. After the loss of these three lives, she wants to see the county implement more safety measures. I think it should be monitored by whoever the county has. It should be monitored. You know, I mean, the people should be told, get out of the water. You know, there's no swimming. The county tells aid on your side new warning signs will be installed this week and staff will patrol the area for the next few weeks. As of now, the county is planning to reopen the popular nature preserve later this week. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the very latest. In Apollo Beach, Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.